Hi, I'm Michael Kays from the Certified Horsemanship Association, and I have a safety tip to bring you. And this is Libby and Prophet here. He's from Asbury University. They're both from Asbury University, and they're going to be my demo horse to help us out here. We're going to talk about pulse, respiration, and temperature. And we'll start off with pulse. There's several uh, places on the horse that you can take the pulse. One is right here under the jaw, and you can find their pulse if you place your hand right in here and gently so that you allow the, the blood to flow through. And then you can count the number of pulses using a stopwatch or your own watch. And a horse's normal pulse rate is between 30 and 40 beats per minute. Another place that you can take the horse's pulse is at the digital artery right here on the inside. You can feel it on the inside of their knee, located right here. And when you're taking a horse's pulse, this is usually non-offensive to the horse, and they usually don't react much to it. But make sure that you stay on your feet and stand in a position that's safe. You can also feel the digital pulse right here above the fetlock and right here, um, right here below the fetlock. You can feel it um, next to the pastern down there. You can also take a horse's pulse with a stethoscope and just place it right here on their heart and actually listen to their heartbeat. And that's actually a good way to do it, to be extremely accurate because you can, um, but there's no movement of the horse involved or anything of that nature. Respiration is taken by watching the horse's breathing. The easiest place to see this is right here on the horse's flank. Horses at rest have very slow breaths per minute, anywhere from eight to 16 and horses breathe quite rapidly when they start exercising. You can also watch respiration by watching the horses breathing up here, although that is usually a little bit more inaccurate because horses may snort or blow or whatever. But you can tell when a horse is um, hot or breathing very rapidly because their nostrils will flare and they will look very labored in their breathing. A horse's temperature is taken rectally and it is by far of all the vital signs that you need to be more, most conscious of safety. The thermometer should have a string attached to it that you can clip onto the horse's tail before you take it so that the thermometer, in case it accidentally goes in, you have a way to retrieve it out of the horse. You stand off to the side of the back of the horse, again, clipping your, your thermometer string to the tail lift the tail up and you'll actually insert the thermometer right into the horse's uh, anal cavity and depending on if it's a mercury thermometer it may have to be left in for two minutes the digital thermometers are very handy nowadays they come up with an instant reading and then you can remove it right away the other thing i want to say about whenever you're applying a thermometer to your horse warm it up um, just a little bit with your hand and put some lubrication on it like Vaseline or even just water so that it slides in easy for the horse. Some horses when they have a thermometer inserted into their hind end will react to it. You need to stay with the horse when the thermometer is in the rectum. Keep a hand on them and it's good if you keep a hand on the thermometer as well if at all possible. A horse's normal temperature ranges from 99.5 to 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 38 degrees Celsius. Be aware of the fact that all horses have their own normal pulse, respiration, and temperature. It's a good idea to take your horse's respiration, temperature, and pulse when you know they are healthy and when they are at rest so that you know you can recognize when they're sick and something is not normal for your horse.